Guys, my back. Okay, I'm back. I uh, my Internet Explorer just blew up. All right, I'm recording back again. I look up Frank Howard and the, the Capital Punisher, and it goes out. The Capital Punisher played eight years with Texas. So the ball goes to the Texas Rangers spot, owned by Dave C. So he did play for the Washington Centers in the 60s. That's where his nickname must have came from, but by far and away most games with Texas. Wait a minute, does Texas make sense? Hold on. Hold on. Looking at his numbers. I'm not sure about this website right now. You guys go look with me. Why does it say Texas eight years? Texas is not in there. I, I think Washington is where he had most of his games played. Back, you guys here and see me? All right, we'll, let's, let's open up the next ball, and we'll figure out exactly where he goes. Baseball reference, a first look. I think the Texas is a, is a wrong, it's a typo. I'm going to look at another website and check. Looks like I'm still here and rolling and recording. DJs, let me know. Anybody else? One year with Texas, from what I can tell on here. All the Senators moved to Minnesota, which we know. Oh, this is a weird history thing here. I got a history lesson. After the 71 season, the new Senators moved to Arlington. But the Senators went to the Twins. So he played for the new Senators, which moved to Texas and was the Rangers. Big tankers, you're Andrew, that's correct. Just got a little history lesson about the Texas Rangers was established in 61 as the Washington Senators. And then the, those original Senators moved to Minnesota and they were the Twins. After 71, 
New ball club. Uh, moved to Texas and was the Rangers. That's why it says Texas. All right. One more box. You guys can see me, right? I just want to make sure before I open this last box and we do the random giveaways. Good luck, everybody. One more baseball. We do have a couple of randoms to, to, to finish up to. All right, good luck, everybody. Schwartz Sports. Hologram. And a logo. Let's flip it around. We've got... Oh. Oh, this is a unique one. Bonds home run number 756. Given up August 7th, 2007. Who gave up the Barry Bonds home run, number 756? I don't know who it was, even though I saw it on Sports Center. A unique ball there. Congratulations! Mike Bassick. I have no idea. <laughs> Basic. Who knew that? So, Dave, you will get the uh, the Howard ball. He was drafted by the Cleveland Indians. Oh boy, he didn't have a long career. Longest tenure team, two years with the NY Mets. New York Mets, longest tenure team. Baseball reference, Mike Bassick. And in 2007, when he gave up the bomb, it must have been with Washington, who we spent one year with. I guess maybe that's that's all he got. But two years with the Mets. There it is. I don't know if it's showing it very well, but. Tyler, did you know? Did you know that? Bonds home run. The man who gave it up. First time I've seen the old base. So, Heath. Baseball history from a distance. On that one. All right, good luck. Uh, we do have the Cubbies. Cubbies and the Mets in on the random for the Buckner and Mookie dual signature ball. And then we'll do the randomizer for the uh, Major League 5x7 cards and the $50 break credit. I know, Paige. I, longest tenure is I go by seasons, and then if we gotta do a tiebreaker, we we do games. Yeah, yeah. I see that. Uh, I see that too. He was five and eight. He had twenty nine appearances. He was with the Mets for two seasons, pitched in sixteen games, but he was there for the two seasons, o two and o three. And then he was out of baseball for a couple years and came back in 07. Where he started 20 games. I, I'm curious about that. That season there. So Buckner's on, uh, goes in first. So Cubs first. 
Mets go in second. All right, good luck, you two. Three plus a three on the dice roll. So six times. Team on time after six clicks will win the baseball. Three, four, five. One more six. N E T S. Man, the Mets turned out to be hot on the baseballs. My goodness. Throw the darn wickets. Three of the balls to the Mets spot. My goodness. Penny, I gotta throw in an extra a little hobby pack mojo for you on that one. You got some good Cubbies cards though. So the dual autograph ball, Mookie. One of only two Mookies. All right, guys. Good luck. Fifty dollar break credit and the major league pack. Fifty dollars to the top spot, break credit to the second, or I'm sorry, break credit to the first spot, and uh, whoever ends up at number two on the list here will get the uh, major league. All right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. Three plus a five. Tyler, is that a rumor? Is that insider info or for real, man? I haven't heard about that. Time Warner Cable is actually changing their name. They're not going to be Time Warner, I guess, very much longer. They got some other name that's... They've had some commercials about it. So I wouldn't be surprised that they're going to become more conglomerates out there in this world, in the media world. Good luck, everybody. Top spot, $50 break credit discount code. Second spot gets the Major League Wax Pack. Five by seven cards are really sweet. Five, six, seven. Number eight. Number eight. I clicked it. I'm going to scroll down really fast. There's eight times. Top spot, Paige. $50 break credit, brother man. Bradford! Bradford, the hometown tribe mojo was in effect, in full effect. Bradford, I think my Ohio friend there, Bradford. You're picking up that major league. Five by seven, Prince, man. Goodness gracious. Thank you guys all so much for joining. Remember that discount code. If anybody wants to grab a team before I tell anybody else tomorrow about it, that 10% off code is good tonight through tomorrow for the gold label teams. Randoms are up there on their websites too.